What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be covering my own Love Island secrets. I know Elizabeth originally did this video and then Alex made a video as well. And I think everybody from the cast honestly should make one of these because I feel like everybody has things that they remember in their own head of like little secrets or things that they did on the island that maybe other people don't know about and there makes for a fun video. So I got my trusted piece of paper right here. <laughs> I wrote all the secrets down. This paper right here contains good secrets. All right, so the first one that I wrote down is, this one's actually pretty funny. The first night after we coupled up and we had to share a bed together, <laughs> I um, I don't know what it was and the, the room temperature was like really weird, but I got really, really hot at night and I broke out in like a really hot sweat and I remember I was like so embarrassed and like my whole like side of the bed was just drenched. And I like slept like a log because I, I didn't want, like I didn't want Elizabeth to know that like, oh, I just like broke out in a, in a sweat. And she'd be like, why is the bed all wet? So <laughs> I was trying to like really just keep to myself during that night. And then it, and then I ended up getting really cold because like I woke up and I was just like covered in sweat. It sucked. But funny thing about it was the next night Elizabeth actually broke out in a sweat and I remember like we were kind of snuggling and she, her head was like kind of tucked under my armpit and she woke up in the middle of the night and she's like ew and I thought for a second like she smelled my armpit or like I had BO or something and I was like oh no but she had broken out in a sweat and she's like feel my she's like feel my chest and it was just like drenched in water so it didn't only happen to me um, the second secret I have is I actually ended up getting the Fijian flu. Um, I think a couple of us got hit with the Fijian flu. And I remember after Elizabeth got it, um, I mean, she had it really bad. Mine was, I, I didn't like throw up or anything, which was good. But, um, I remember them saying, do not use the water like that comes from the sink to like brush your teeth or do anything with. And we had these like little water stations separate from that, that was like filtered water. And I was just a hard head and I was like, eh, I won't get it. And I ended up getting it and they had to pull me out of the villa for a night. And that really stunk because anytime you had to be pulled out of the villa and you're like away from everybody, it was just really lonely. Um, I remember the night that Elizabeth actually got the Fijian flu. I was so hoping that she was going to come back. And I, we didn't like the pillows that were on our beds because they were like really hard. And I, I went and got these uh, couch pillows that we were using to sleep on. And I remember her coming in the next day and she told me like, uh, cause she was in the uh, hideaway and she's like, I saw you on the camera bringing the pillows to the bed. And she like thought it was so cute. Um, so that's another one. <laughs> um, so yeah, some of these secrets, I'm just going to expose myself but I don't really care because I just want to share this with you guys. But there were certain nights where we had to be separated during the nighttime and we couldn't sleep in the same bed as our partner. And it was like guys on one side, girls on the other side. And me and Weston always shared a bed together. And it was so funny because, <laughs> because we would, uh, this is just guy stuff, but we would fart on each other. And all of a sudden you would just like feel the bed start shaking because it was Weston laughing or me laughing because we just farted and we knew it smelled really bad. And it was also funny because we like couldn't fall asleep and we'd start like whispering and talking and you just hear a voice come over like the loudspeaker, Weston and Zach go to bed. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, secret number four. So, I know on TV they made it look like me and Elizabeth had sex during that scene, but we actually didn't have sex. And they kind of com like compiled the clips together to really like make it convincing that we did. And then it didn't look any better like when we pop our heads under the covers and we look at Emily and Weston and are laughing. Um, but yeah, they did a good job at stitching that together. We actually, we didn't do it there, so. Um, for you, for those of you who didn't know, now you know. <laughs> um, oh, another fun thing that we did during the nighttime was like when it was really quiet, sometimes like one person would start it off. Some, mostly I think the time it was me because yeah, I'm goofy, but we would just start making moaning noises 
<laughs> and it would just start trailing from one bed to the next. And I remember one time Dylan did it and it was just so funny because it was like drawn out so long and there was like a pause and then he'd like keep going and it was hilarious. Um, oh, this is a really good one. So me and Elizabeth would actually, um, during the nighttime, if we wanted to like tell each other something and we, we didn't want anybody hearing it or we were trying to like hide from the microphones because at nighttime you take your mic off but there's a mic like right coming out of your headboard like right above your heads so we would go under the covers like to the foot of the bed and like whisper to each other like secrets that we had that we didn't want anybody else to hear and we'd like spend a, a good time like majority of the time like under the covers just whispering of like certain things that we thought were gonna happen or we didn't want other people to like hear or whatever um all right, so this one's pretty interesting. Each time somebody got boated off the island, I don't know how this, this tradition started, but each time somebody got boated off the island, we we um, went into the kitchen and popped a bag of popcorn, and that just became a tradition. We had to pop a bag of popcorn each time somebody left the island. I don't know why. We had to sulk by eating popcorn. Um, this one's pretty funny. So when I was packing for Love Island, I did not bring enough clothes at all. And I was actually short on underwear. And the way that the laundry worked there, they didn't really get it back to you really fast. So there was like multiple days where I just went with no underwear. And I just had a free ball all around, which was <laughs> not too fun. And it was just like very awkward. But yeah, so that happened to me. Um... Oh, this is this is really funny. Um, so during mine and Elizabeth's first kiss scene that you guys all saw, there was actually, I would say, probably like an hour and 30 minutes worth of conversation before I actually made my move to kiss her. And yeah, I was just so like scared and nervous. It took me so long to actually like make the move to kiss her. And I was just like playing it up in my head. I was like, I want this to be like super special. Um, kind of like movie like and I was like just none of these moments to me like felt right but I feel like at the same time I do that a lot as a person and I just overthink it in my head instead of just going for it especially because I, I know from like Elizabeth's end she was like okay dude like when are you gonna make your move <laughs> so that was funny and actually it was taking me so long Elizabeth didn't know this but there was a person like in the background through the uh, like glass door and they were like, do it, <laughs> like do it. Like actually like they were like trying to encourage me to like kiss her and it was just really funny. But yeah, that scene they made look short on TV and it just opens up with like do you ride rides but there was a lot more conversation um, that was not included. So um, my 10th secret that I have on this list was actually I got in trouble a lot in the villa and most of the time it was because we would get split up during um, like dinner time or we'd get split up at certain times and I wanted to just keep talking to Elizabeth or I felt like I needed to tell her something and like I'd go over there and like try to tell her something or whisper and they'd like yell at me and they'd be like hey get back over here um, and we got separated a lot because of that <laughs> which was really funny um, Oh, I actually only worked out a total of like three times I was in the villa. I know they showed on the TV that I worked out a couple times. Well, I did not work out that much when I was there. And the two guys who actually worked out the most was probably Dylan and Yemen. Dylan would work out rain, shine, snow. He was after it like every day. There was actually this one time when I went over um, to work out with all the guys and I got on the bench press and I probably did seven reps and then I put it down and walked away. And they were all like, did Zach just come over here and bench seven times and then leave? <laughs> and I thought that was really funny because they were just like, what? Um, all right, so this this one I'm going to be exposing myself a little bit. But <laughs> uh, me and Elizabeth were playing in the pool one day and I like really had a fart. And it was funny because for the longest time in the villa, I wouldn't fart around Elizabeth. Like I just didn't want to like break that seal or barrier and it would always be like a moment where I would do it and she wasn't paying attention or she just like couldn't hear and so I told her I was like go into the water really quick so she went into the water and I farted and everybody in the villa was like 
and they all just turned their head and looked at me and she came up under the water and she's like what what happened and i was like oh nothing don't worry about it <laughs> um then third uh the 13th secret I have um, was I actually napped a lot in the villa. I remember during the first recoupling, I was actually just so um, happy where I was at and I like knew where Elizabeth's head was at. So I was like 100% sure she was going to choose me. And I remember everybody was like running around frantically like what are we going to do? Nobody knows who's coupling up with who. People were scared that they were going to get kicked off the island and I was just over on the couch just um, snoozing. Uh, I, I think they filmed a video of it and they were like, yeah, well, everybody's, you know, running around frantically. Zach's over here just sleeping. <laughs> um, then 14, my 14th secret, and this is the last secret I have for you guys. Um, it's kind of a bit of a flex, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but me and Weston had this like bromance and we had a, a bubble bath together and they only showed like a small portion of that conversation. But we actually had like a long conversation in there. And that's just what kind of grew mine and Weston's relationship into what it is now because we are just like very open with each other and we talk about life stories and life experiences a lot. And I like having deep conversations with people like that because it really, um, it's how you like learn about a person and learn, uh, sorry, learn about their struggles and, and growth and everything. And um, I remember one time I had to go see Dr. Eliza and she was like, that moment that you guys had in the in the bathtub together when you were talking, she's like, that is the, that was one of the most, she said actually that that was the most beautiful scene that she's ever seen in all of um, any reality TV show she's been a part of. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it was just, you know, me and him getting on a deep level. She was actually able to see like the whole stretch of the scene, um, not just what they cut to put on TV. So um, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to actually share some deep thoughts of mine with you guys soon enough. But that's all I have for my Love Island secrets. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope some of these made you guys laugh. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, if we could, let's get this video. Hmm. I want to go for like 65 likes. 65 likes. I know you guys could hit that. We'll crush it. Uh, leave me a comment down below on what you guys thought. Um, you could also leave a comment down below on anything you want to see from me. And I'm signing off. I'll see you guys on the next one. Pull out the coupe at the lot. Tony for a 12 fuck swat. Buzzing all the bells out the box. I